guys, it's Kendall Hart. I'm back in it again with another video. So today's video is going to be a video about how I blend and style my hair to blend perfectly with my U-Part wig. So this U-Part wig is a kinky curly wig and basically this video I'm going to be talking about how I blend my 4B style hair. 4B, 4C, I don't really know my exact hair type, but I'm going to be talking about how I blend it and how it looks like my natural hair. This video isn't going to be too much about how I style the actual U-Part wig, but it is going to be about how I style and blend my own hair to match the texture and everything of the U-Part wig. So, without further ado... So I am going to go through the whole entire process of what I do to my leave out, how I install the U-Part wig, it's pretty simple, what products I use, everything like that. But before I get into this video, make sure y'all go ahead and like this video. Well, actually wait till the end to like it so it's genuine. But make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. I do post vlogs, beauty, fashion hauls, hair. I recently just did the Big Chop. So sooner or later I'm going to do like a textured hair care, wash and go, twist out, stuff like that. So yeah, make sure you subscribe if you like that type of content and let's get into the video to look presentable. So you're just going to have to excuse this for a little bit. But anyways, I am going to show y'all the wig first before I get into doing my leave out. So this wig is actually from Hair Slangas Extensions. So this is the bag that it came in because this is actually located in Baton Rouge. They have a storefront. So I actually went and picked up the hair at the store. But these wigs, I think they aren't going to be available online to purchase until after the holidays. So maybe December, late December, early January. But um, this is a really good wig. Like, this is what the wig looks like maybe after a full week of wearing it, taking it in and out. I don't wear it to sleep because it is a U-part, so it's pretty easy to take in and out. So I take it off at night. And it is textured. It can be actually very slick and give that more of a wet and defined curls. But I kind of like my hair to be more volume versus defined. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit frizzy and just bigger. But this hair does do really well when you wash it or wet it, spray it, put the product in. It will give you defined curls if that's a look that you desire. So... So there are two, three clips at the top, my bad, three, not two. Um, these combs are actually different from the three combs that are at the bottom and the sides. And I don't really like the combs in the top, honestly. But it's okay because I kind of secured the whole wig, the U part, with bobby pins. So the combs are just there for extra support. They're not my favorite. Um, they're kind of tiny, so they don't really go into your hair like I like. But these combs are really secure. This is what keeps the wig in place. And my head is kind of big, so they have these little elastic things that you can clip in the back. But I don't do that because it's so tight and like it rubs against my neck because I think my head is a little bit on the larger side. But, I mean, that is an extra piece of security, I guess. Basically what I do is I just spray it and then I put this mousse. It's from Aussie. It's called Sprunch, Sprunch Mousse and Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, I don't even know how leave-in conditioner in it. Anyways... So I put this in here, I just spray it like I do like lines, and then I kind of just wet it. Um, one thing I will say about this wig, it does get a little bit frizzy and detangled at the bottom, but the rest of the hair is so soft, like it's so good, it looks so natural. Anyways, enough about that, let's get into how I style my leave out. So like I said, I just did a big chop, so my hair is a lot shorter, but it's healthier, so I'm glad I did it. Let me... This is what my hair looked like. Let me insert a picture somewhere. This is what my hair looks like when I have product in it. It's styled and it's washed. So this is how short it is. This is my curl pattern texture. So if you have a shorter hair, hair similar to my length or texture, and you're kind of skeptical, because I used to always wear leave outs, um, but once I did cut my hair, I was kind of like, dang, am I going to be able to wear leave outs? But don't worry. You can do it. If your hair is short, it doesn't matter. It's just all about how you blend and the products, and I'm going to show you. So... I'm going to do this part off camera, but I am going to try to explain to you guys. This is how much I love. So you see the kind of you. So after I parted my hair, hopefully y'all can see that amount. But I used Eco Styler Gel to kind of slick my hair into a low bun. It doesn't really matter how slick you get it, just as long as it's good enough. And you want to kind of make the bun. 
as small as possible so that way there's no humps or there's not a huge hump when you put your wig on. So the first step is you're going to want to spray your hair. So after I have damp hair, you don't want it to be like soaking wet, dripping, but damp is good. You're going to take your rat tooth comb, that's what I call it, and you're going to comb, of course, from the bottom up. And this is the same comb I used to part. That's irrelevant. But anyways, this is the twist defining cream that I use. Um, I haven't been natural for too long, so I haven't tried out a lot of them. But this one works, so I'm going to keep using it. But this is the twist defining cream by As I Am. It's $11.99. Still got the price tag on there. Which is kind of expensive for this little jar. What the hell? I did not know it was that much. But anyways, this is what I use. And you're just going to apply it through your hair evenly. And make sure you are putting product to the roots because that's pretty important in this style. The roots are going to show a lot and you don't want your roots to be really coarse. And then the hair, the wig itself is kind of a finer texture. So yeah, just make sure you get the roots. I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. This, the next thing I'm going to use is really messy, sorry, is the Eco Styler Gel Coconut Oil. I don't think the coconut oil really matters, just get any type of eco. And I use about about that much, which is kind of a lot. But this is what I use because it helps hold the curls for multiple days. So the longer you have for it to dry and the longer you want it to last, the more product you should use. So I kind of want this to last maybe three or four days. So I did use a little bit more eco than normal. And then you're going to comb it out again. So after this, after all the product is in there, I'm going to go ahead and part my hair down the middle. So I got my middle part and now I'm going to go in with these flexi rods. I actually have eight of them, so I do four on each side. Once I do them and I let them dry however long, they usually last, like the curl that it makes. Okay, Netflix. The curl that it makes usually lasts about three to four days, which is good because these aren't the best for your hair. It pulls on your hair and it's not the best for your hair. So don't use these every day, but I do use them maybe like once, twice a week, if that. So yeah, basically I start in the front and I section it off and I wrap. So when you wrap, you want the curl to be loose. Like you don't want to be like, like that. You want to kind of go down at least an inch and kind of wrap it like that so that it matches the texture of the hair. And the reason I'm doing this is because my hair is a lot tighter of a curl than the kinky curly wig. So when I do this, it kind of stretches out my curls. So, Okay, so this is what it looks like. When I'm done, like I said, four and four, four on each side. It looks a little crazy, so I would say do this at night and sleep in it. It's easy to put a bonnet on. It's not really uncomfortable. I sleep on my side. It's perfectly fine. I have no issues. Um, but if you are going to do this in the middle of the day, that's fine. You can still put a bonnet on, do what you got to do, wait for it to dry. I have, I don't know if it's like low porosity or high porosity. I'm new to this natural, sh like I should know that, but... I think it's low porosity where your hair dries in a shorter amount of time. So my hair dries like while I'm washing it. Like it dries so fast. So it doesn't take me long. Honestly, this is probably going to be drying like two hours. But if you really want to see that three to four day hold, like I said, keep it in for longer than that. I would say like six to eight hours-ish if you want to see that longer hold. So I'm going to keep this in. It is 11.25 right now, so I'll probably take it out around six and show y'all how I take it out, how I blend it into the hair. The time is now 6 p.m. I basically let these dry all day. They're pretty much dry. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on and show you guys the blending process of it. Unfortunately, it's later, so I don't have that glowy daytime lighting anymore, but we're going to work with it. So I like to put the wig on and secure it in place with the bobby pins and everything before I actually take the flexi rods out. Just so there's not hair everywhere and it's just a little bit easier. I make sure all the combs are on and good. And then what I do just to make sure the front part is secure is I get bobby pins. And I place them 
all around the U part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. So now that I have the wig secured, I have bobby pins. I would probably say I put about 10. I just like to be kind of sure because that's my biggest fear is when I get in public and my wig flies off or somebody snatches it off and gets caught on something. Like, I'm so terrified of that. I would be mortified. So I put a lot just to secure it. So once you have that, it's time to start taking your twist down. And I'm going to show you my twist method on how I separate them and how I make it blend so you're just gonna take it down like normal I do put this in my hair it's just 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil I put a little tiny bit that way when I take it down it's not completely frizzy but you can use an oil of choice or you can just take it down it's not that serious but I just use this so that there's something in my hands and it just makes the hair slip a little bit better so this is what it looks like once I take all the flexi rods out trust the process girl I literally just separate each curl one time. Nothing more, nothing less. Okay, so this is how I get it to blend. You're going to take a little tiny, 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 tiny bit of Eco Styler Gel. And I'm going to take my first curl, whatever curl I want to blend first. And you literally take a piece of hair that's right on top, close to the curl split it so you don't have to really split it all the way and then you're just gonna twist loosely twist loosely and then there you go and you kind of just do that to each single section find a small piece of hair you don't want the hair piece that you twist it around to be too thick because then it's just not gonna look right so it has to be like a smaller piece of hair and do that throughout your head. I'm gonna do one more view close up. So this is what the finished look looks like. Let me give y'all close up a spin. Literally, you can't even really tell that it's like twisted unless you're looking deep hard in my head. And Corona six feet, you shouldn't even be that close anyways. And this is basically all I do. Like I said, what I like about the U part wig is I can take it off at night. So I'll just take all the bobby pins out. I'll kind of twist my own hair like the leave out. Twist them together and then in the morning it still looks presentable to wear it another day. And then maybe two or three days after that. So I don't have to use the flexi rods every day. My hair holds. I guess it depends on your hair texture, but my hair pretty much holds. So yes, like I said, I love it. I can tuck it behind my ear, wear it like this. So that's how it looks. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it was really informative. And like I said, it's the end of the video. So if you liked watching it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if y'all want me to do a like maintenance, how I take care of this, how I wash it, um, everything like that. That's basically it. Bye.